What's shaking, everybody? I was just scrolling through Game Banana today. Don't ask me why. Uh, you know, I stumbled into the HUD aisle and I I saw some some weird shit. And I thought, you know, why not share it with the world? Why not share it with all of you? So I have five carefully curated, carefully picked out HUDs here that we're gonna take a little cheeky look at here today. You know, these intros are always like a full minute or two long. I, I, I'm sure that's too much for you guys. So I say we, I shut the fuck up and we get going, huh? Okay, so just, you know, first as a little baseline, I think it's fair that we start with the HUD that I use. Uh, because I've had a lot of people ask me and you know, even though I've answered them every time, um, I'll just give another, I'll just give a, a pretty standard answer here. Uh, I use Toon HUD and uh, I've customized it myself. It's uh, I like to customize it frequently. Um, right now I've got a little bit of a neat Fuck you, dude. I've got a neat little Halloween-ish theme going on. I'm trying to usher in Halloween a little early. <laughs> My favorite part about uh, Toon HUD is how disgustingly customizable it is and how easy it is to customize it. So you, you don't have to pick Go Bold like I have. You can pick, what, you know, fucking TF2 build, TF2 secondary. Literally any font you have you can use. So that's pretty epic. Another cool thing. If I can just hit someone real quick. You can create custom hit markers. Yeah, so uh <laughs> that that was uh that was Toon HUD. Before we get to the crazy shit, let's just familiarize ourselves with the default HUD. You know, this shit is just it's 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 just <laughs> I I have no words, you know, it's just a fantastic HUD. It's a classic. Come stock with the game. It's just mm, chef's kiss HUD. There's really no need. There's no need to change this. I personally, I, I personally am not a huge fan of the like placement of the uh, numbers and stuff. Honestly, yeah, like it's just it's a such an excellent video game HUD. And, and honestly, my fa one of my favorite things about TF2 that people just don't talk about enough, I think, is just the, the, the sheer customizability of, of all of it, you know? You know, with TF2, you can customize literally basically everything about the game besides its core gameplay. You can do whatever you want with, like, mods, custom HUDs, all that shit. Hit sounds. Fucking, you, you can have all all buff naked mercs if you want. I I saw that mod as I was getting these huds. I had I had to scroll through a certain account who had about like half a page of buff naked mercs where I didn't. It was like you know I didn't have a problem with you know it's fine with me of course but for you know anyone else who doesn't have the war hardened stomach that I do you know maybe couldn't you know. <clears throat> Take it like I can. Anyways, I, I do uh, really appreciate the uh, customizability of this game. Just like the simple act of changing my view model FOV. Like I can, I can, I can, fuck it, you know. View model FOV 25, you know. Just being able to do that is, is, is kind of crazy. You know, it's like only fucking source games that you can do that shit. That's like only, it's only source games. That you could just like completely deconstruct and reconstruct however the fuck you want. You know, it's so unique. We all know what the default HUD looks like, so let's move on to our, our first weird and wacky HUD. <laughs> Notice anything different, guys? Alright, so real talk now. This is probably the most normal one uh, that I found. And. <laughs> As you can see, some of the more keen-eyed viewers might recognize this this little uh, this little health HUD that I've got going on here, and, and some might see this this interesting little circular crosshair and think, "Hmm, where have I seen that before?" And let me tell you, it's Overwatch, baby. This is the Overwatch 2 HUD, uh, you know, but but in but in Team Fortress 2, and. Oh man, is it 
Is it really good? Like, I'm sure some of you are, are like, wow, this guy can't stop talking about Overwatch. What is he, stupid? Yes. As much as I hate it, I love it, you know? I, I hate Overwatch because because I love it, you know what I'm saying? It's 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 kind of like, it's uh, there was a quote that I heard. I forgot who, I think Sun Tzu said or something. Is it like, nobody hates TF2 more than, like, like TF2 players or like old TF2 players hate hate the game the most And it's the same shit with overwatch. I think you know as all of you know by now. Holy shit I say it basically every video I, I've been in overwatch basically since the shit came out every single day. I shed one one s s small Dramatic tear in black and white at what the fuck blizzard did to my game It it, it pisses me off and it makes me sad and it makes me dreadful for for the, the awful practices that'll continue in not only Overwatch but all all video games. God, gaming is in a it's simultaneously in such a fantastic spot, but also in a horrible spot. Cause like there's there's some fantastic shit coming out. But at the same time, there is some real fucking slop. Like, if you want the 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 plain, simple, you know, cold cut, cut and dry, cock and balls case of, of slop you ever did see, look no further than than Steam free to play games. Fucking banana completely ruined the meta of Steam of free Steam games. Before it was, it was, it was shitty, dumb, you know, shooters and like, shooters, yeah, shooters, that's it. Uh, but now it's just like, banana plus, but iron, iron cross, um, and, and, and coconut and fucking, you know, just any stupid fucking uh, VHS tape. Any fucking object you can possibly imagine, someone's turned it into some shitty clicker game. All because of fucking banana. Have you guys ever, like, you know, taken a drink of your, your tap water and thought to yourself, you know, hmm, that's, water shouldn't be that heavy. Yeah, I, I, is, it, is, it, is that just me? Ouch. My aching joints and muscles. Wait, 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 don't turn around. Fuck! What? I was- I- 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 I was away from the keyboard at that point. I- I- absolutely- if I- Why didn't they just kill me immediately? Thought that pyro was gonna lean down and be like... It starts with sorry. Uh, on that note, uh, I say we move on to the next HUD, shall we? Hey, 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 here's the next one. It's RPG HUD. Uh, you can already tell this one, I think we're in for quite the doozy. Not only with just this one, but it also comes, where is it? With a min mode version. And I, I think we're like, we'll actually be uh, in for something pretty special. Uh, from the Game Banana pictures, I think both HUDs are actually going to be fucking cool. So, erm, um, what the flip? This is freaking epic. This is it, I'm I'm just like staring around. This is such a well-made hood. I, I like the little heart in the in the corner that like that's for uh, you know uh, your your team. I think that uh, is just so cool. I love this. I love this little hood. I I think it's this is so cool. Uh, I hate that I'm on Dust Bowl though. I I know it's a classic. It's a classic. Ah. Oh. You can't hate Dust Bowl. It's a it's a certified classic. More like certified stinker, cause it's not very good. I get it. It's old. It's like the first map God made when He was creating the Earth. But like seriously, it it sucks. Come and get it, boys. That's just not even cool. I what is cool though is that fucking the little the little editor zoom up there. That looks cool. That's like that's like actually epic. But what's not epic is that stupid fucking random crit. Oh fuck! <laughs> I don't know why I thought I could make that. Oh, look at this poor bastard. 
me just, you don't mind if I take that, thanks. Fuck, and it wasn't even enough. Come on, come on. I want to get at least a kill in this video, come on. This is just stupid. That is just actually dumb. So, guys, I've got just a little hypothetical question for you. If you, let's say, unboxed a, a, a war paint that, that was perhaps a little bit valuable, and, and, and you could put it on any weapon you wanted, right? Whether it was for personal enjoyment or for max profit, you know, which, uh, which... Which, which, which weapon would you go with? Um, because if you go with the reserve shooter, like I did, you are an absolute chad, because I got, uh, what, whatever this is called, uh, already forgot. I got a dream piped a, mind you, strange factory, I unboxed a strange factory new dream pipe. And I'm sure you can imagine the instant wave of regret that fell over me when I clicked redeem on the reserve shooter. You know, it, it, it doesn't feel good knowing that I've essentially just flushed a few hundred dollars down the drain because I thought it would be funny to stick it to the man or, or, or something. I, I honestly don't remember what my thought process was, but it, it clearly wasn't a very good one. So I just wonder to all of you folks at home, have you ever done the same thing that I have done where you unbox this super epic, super valuable little war paint or, 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 um, Hat. I don't give a fuck. Actually, no. Fuck your hats. I don't. I don't care about those. I want to know: Have you redeemed a war paint that you instantly regretted? You know, the second you did it, you were like, "Why? Why did I do something that stupid?" When I I could have put it on a rocket launcher, or I I could have put it on a flamethrower, or literally anything with the reserve shooter, and I could have made like 20 times more than I spent. So, back in the time that I made that, uh, the, the definitive pyro tier list, I, I, I initially ranked the reserve shooter very low. Uh, I, I wouldn't now, I would put it much higher, I actually like this thing a lot. My mind has been changed, thanks to you lovely people, you know, I, I decided to give it another shot, and gosh darn it, it's actually pretty good. I, I, I think with that excellent little bit of irony right there, we move on to the next fucking HUD. Good morning, everyone. Uh, this is the next HUD we've got. Morb HUD here. The, the file name was Morbussy. So I, I knew I was in for something just absolutely incredible. And I was, I was proven... I was proven right. You can clearly see, I mean, well, I mean, look at this. <laughs> we got browse Morbius, create Morbius, options, advanced options, Morbian items. That doesn't look too bad. Replay Morbius, awesome. Uh, morb, morb.co store, the Morbian workshop, the Morbius UI, min morb, <laughs> Morbian console, and demorbivated. What does this do? It closes the game. I, I don't... I don't know what I expected. Let me just boot this back up then. Wow. Wow. I almost just spit out my water. I think the most shocking thing about all of these pictures is how high res they are. It's like... 
Oh shit, the, the Morb HUD is too powerful. Nothing in TF2 should ever be this HD. I can see his fucking pores. So far, it's not too offensive. Uh, I think, I think so far, besides like, you know, the menu and the loading screens and the, in this, and I guess really that so far, it's a usable HUD. I think we'll do it non-con. Oh, whoa, whoa. Hold, what did I just see there? Wait, medic. Can I, can I get an overheal? Did I just see the Michael Morbius? I think I did. I think, I think, ed editor, go back, replay that footage, freeze frame. That was Michael Morbius, wasn't it? I fucking knew it. Alright, so I actually have kind of a funny story about Morbius. Um, <laughs> I, I did not watch that shit in theaters. I watched it at home in my bed. It's a bad movie. It's a, it's a very, very lousy film, I will say. And, um, yeah. Hold on, I'm trying to focus here. Uh, it's, it's a lousy film. And it, it was, it was so bad that not only did I fall asleep, I woke up and threw up all over my floor. <laughs> It, it was just how how bad how bad the movie was, and that and that is what I remember Morbius for, was the the feeling of falling asleep. I, I was around the part where Morbi uh, he he doesn't have his enough blood or whatever, and his legs start you know moving like a goddamn PS1 character fucking glitching out and shit. That looked pretty fucking bad to me. That's the last thing I remember before falling asleep. Waking up, I think I think the vampires were fighting maybe, and and I and the effects were so bad that I had to go and throw up. Goodness gravy! If you I and I haven't finished it, and I probably never will. I I do not want to see that movie again. I just I don't think I can stomach it. It's it is truly bad. Thankfully though, this HUD isn't. It's actually very good, uh, uh, I must say. All right, maximum effort. Fuck. <laughs> oh, I, I just caught a glimpse of that. It said morp gun, not a sentry gun. It was a morb gun. <laughs> all right, all right. I'll just, I'll just accept what happened there as not a fluke, but as destiny. It was supposed to happen. <sighs> Thanks. Thank you. FYI, I am the spy. Shit, 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 shit. Ooh. Thank you, Morbius. It was thanks to you that I was able to get away with that. I was hit with a dash of Morbius magic. That was an interesting perspective I've never gotten before. Doesn't feel good, I'll say it. And I'll say it with my full chest. I'll say what a lot of YouTubers aren't willing to say. That loss feels really bad. Anyways, uh, we've got two more HUDs left. And uh, yeah, I'll be back with the next one. I'm sure anyone who's ever looked at HUDs before expected this one. Because uh, everyone and their freaking grandmas talked about Shrek HUD. But honestly, it's for good reason. From first glance, you might think, what a, what a lame, outdated meme, right? But, you know, we've learned from the teachings of Darman not to judge a book by its cover. And I think I have reason to believe that the, the Shrek HUD is uh, actually a lot better than I we all um, give it credit for. So, uh, yeah. Stop! Stop playing that! Oh my god. <sighs> I mean, look at this. This is, this is actually kind of cute. I like this. This is awesome. Like, none of the other HUDs have like bothered to put this much detail into it and I really appreciate the actual like 
love and attention that's going into this. Okay, oh, oh goodness gravy, this is a sight to behold. Um, I said this HUD was good, and I, I don't want to be proven wrong. Alright, I want to, I want, I want this HUD to be good. So it friggin... I... Why do I suck so... <laughs> what is he doing there? Speaking of brands and businesses and stuff, I, I just want to say uh, something that I haven't said in quite a while. I... Whoops, I thought I had the gunboats on. Uh, I just want to say something that I haven't said in a while. So in case anyone forgot, or, or someone is actually listening now. I love gamer sups. I love I love their products. I love I love the cups. I think the cups are awesome. Like the waifu cups, I think they're great. I think even like the basic swirly designs, those are awesome as well. Fantastic cups, well worth the price. Also the free samples that come with them. And I would I would love to get more. You know, I I, I would pay for more. I, I I know how much you guys love money. So I think that if you want to make some real money sell the flavors but 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 smaller anyways that's not what I, that's not what we're here for that uh, we can talk about that more in the boardroom you know once i'm an official part of the company i think um you know but uh until then i just want to say i love gamer subs i love their products uh, i think their flavors are delicious my personal favorite is is probably uh schlant's titty milk i think it's a, a fantastic flavor I have not had all of their illustrious flavors, but gosh darn it, the ones that I have, I haven't had a single bad one yet. You know, I think Mango Meta is very good too, I like that one a lot. Um, anyways, yeah, so if anyone uh, at Gamersups wants to send me an email, uh, feel free at schnorpel42 at gmail.com, hit me up and we can get like a, maybe a discount code, maybe a flavor or a cup or something, you know, I, I just, I, I just think that would be kind of cool, okay? Someone, uh, from, from there, if you're, if you're listening, I've already sent an application, just give me some word back, please, I'll, I'll keep sending them until you, until you, uh, until you respond. Oh, hey, Shrek. Boom. Undeniable skill. My finesse is... Well... Oh. Give me... Give me eat orange. Give me you. Oh, yeah. Go get him. Heat-seeking missile. It's just funny, right? Pyros think... They think they can outsmart me, but they can't because they're pyros. Pyros are stupid, right? I would know because I am one, right? It's it's always like like all soldiers are like, uh, pyros air blast is stupid and it's not fair. He shouldn't be able to air blast. It's just it just it, it's not cool because I shoot a rocket at him and he shoots it right back. I, I, you know it it's not that hard to be a pyro, you know. Just play Pyro for like a month or two, you know, figure out what it truly means to air blast. And it's going to be a lot harder for those darn Pyro monkeys to uh, actually fool you. You see, as the great Jeff Censored once said, you know, it's uh, something about convincing a fool to fool the fool to convince them that they've been fooled or something like that. It's, I, I don't, I don't quite remember the exact quote. But it was, it was it was something profound like that, dude. It's just not even fair. He's got the Australian black box. He does more damage than I do. It's just, it's it's been proven, time and time again. You can ask Uncle Dane, you can ask Shonik, you could ask fucking Zesty Jesus, and they'll all tell you, with 100% confidence, that that are the Australian weapons. They, they do not only have, have a, a hidden 15% damage bonus, but they also frequently, um, that, that contract noise really fuck, really fuck with me. Uh, they also get random crits more often. That's just, it's proven. Um, and, uh, use, no, I'm not going to show any proof. 
Uh, just trust me, bro. Fuck. Uh, let's just not focus on the fact that I've lost every game that I've played so far. Look, I'm not, again, we're not here for the gameplay. We're here to demonstrate the, the undeniable talent of all of these HUD makers. All right, this is the final HUD we're gonna be looking at tonight. This is the weird core HUD. And as you can probably tell, this shit gets a little weird. I do like these animations. These are, these are kind of epic. These are, these are kind of cool. We like to see this. Cool sound. Uh, that's, that's the, that's an intro noise. That's, I, that is someone's YouTube intro sound. Who is it? I forgot. God damn it. Who's in, whose intro sound is that? It's, it's tickling my brain. God, what is it? Whatever. Let's, let's just go into a game. Got a little bit of a Roku situation here. Fuck yeah, that's cool. We can do this. I want to win at least one game. I want to win one game for once in this fucking channel's career. I want to win a game. And they're far below, they're behind us. Jesus Christ. I killed him, but that was still embarrassing. That was, that was rough to watch. That was rough to do. Dude, soda popper meta? I'm actually gonna... I'm just gonna use my penis pump. You know, at first I thought this HUD was actually, like, kinda not the best, because it was distracting and shit. But I gotta say... It's not too shabby once you get used to it. Definitely not TF2, but it's it's pretty TF cool. You know, the more I play with it, the more I fuck with this HUD. This I think would actually play a lot. I, I think it would be a lot nicer with the um, Night of the Consumers graphics. I think that would actually be kind of a neat way to play the game. <laughs> Thank you, sniper. Oh my god. Anyways, yeah. So I that was that was me taking a look at five pretty pretty epic little HUDs. Some were better than others. Let me know down in the comment section below which one you thought was pretty cool, which one you thought was the best. Be sure to like the video if you like it. Subscribe if you want to see some more stuff like this. Uh, I have a podcast. You know, of course, link in the description for that. And uh, yeah, see you later.